Um, first of all, when I was shuffling out the spread for you, uh, what I saw was, I see this woman, she's really beautiful. She's wearing like a white dress. She looks almost like an angel, white dress, blonde hair, shimmering. And she is sitting down right next to this, um, this, this really medieval looking threader. And what she's doing is she's spinning wool into thread. Okay. And the thread is like golden. And, um, there's like a little mouse and it's like one of those, um, human like mouse. And it's, um, it's whatever she's spinning out, it's rolling it into like, um, a roll of thread for her. So she's got helpers. She's got helpers that's helping her. So she's kind of like in this tower, just, uh, you know, threading. And then there's like a window and, and it zooms out into the window and the bells are, are ringing. Okay. In the tower, the bells are ringing and, and like, it's, it's almost like the beginning of a new day. So the imagery is just really, really hopeful. It seems like your angels are pretty much reassuring you that everything is okay, that you're heeding your calling, that things will be okay. That's what it feels like to me. It feels like, you know, you're working towards your destiny. You're, you're spinning this thread of destiny because like I'm seeing the wheel and, um, it's also reiterated in this card, the wheel of fortune as well. So that's the image that I saw for you guys. And, um, Immediately, the message that I got here was, I feel like it's going to be okay. Whatever transition that you're going through right now, you're taking care of things. You're keeping your nose to the grindstone. You are moving forward. You're, you're, you're spinning. And I feel like because you're, you're diligent about moving on, moving forward. We don't stop and, you know, sulk in, in, in misery and in self-pity. We're going to move forward. And I feel like that's one of the strengths that you have in which you know how to compartmentalize. You don't let your emotions get the best of you. And so, you know, life goes on. Okay. Um, what I do feel here is, um, in this spread, there is somebody who is trying to make a love connection with you. And I'm feeling like they're reaching out, okay? They, they have been whatever they were dealing with in the past. There is a shyness about this person. And um, I, I feel like it's somebody that put on airs, like they're kind of like, you know, the alpha male or the alpha female and uh, things like that. I feel like they do put on airs, like, oh, you don't mean that much to me, or, you know, and you guys are also very difficult to read. Like, people find it very hard to decipher your gestures, to decipher your text messages, and they, you're just an enigma. People find it very difficult to understand how you feel and, and, and to, you know, understand what you mean. And so I feel like this is a person that has been on the outskirts. They, they have been on the outskirts kind of looking in and they're making a gesture towards you. Okay. Someone who's very playful, they act like, you know, they're alpha, but I feel like deep down, they're still a page. They're very young, very innocent, cute, sweet. Um, light color eyes is what I'm getting. Light colored eyes. Okay. There's some element of that. Even though his back is turned, I'm just feeling like light colored eyes. Somebody that is um, trying to make a gesture towards you. And they're still very young. And I feel like this is um, sort of like somebody who has admired you for quite some time. There is going to be contact and communication from this person. So if it's something that you've been waiting on for some time, once again, I feel like those bells in the tower is ringing. And I feel like it's, it's going to be very sudden, very unexpected. And it's something that you have been waiting on for quite some time. The problem with this is I feel like, you know, it's going to be a really busy week for you. And I feel almost like they're catching you at a very inopportune moment. You might have a gazillion things that you need to do, errands that you need to run, tasks that you need to take care of. Um, you might be in one very heated conversation with somebody 
and you know, you're, you're like, your, um, thinking cap is on. And then this person's all like, Hey, want to do lunch? And you're just like, but I have three hours of work left I need to do and I need to submit it before close of business day. How are we going to be able to fit in lunch? And so you might, you know, stall on this invitation or I, I feel like there's some element here about it coming in at a very inopportune moment. And it's something you've been waiting for. And now it's just like, I don't know what to do with this. So that's what I feel coming through. And I feel like you have been very distracted lately. And this person is trying to get your attention. Okay. They're almost like, look at me. And um, let me see what this is. I This is like my third time using this deck. And um, if you look at that, it's like a, a seashell, okay? Seashells laid out in a um, in some type of a pattern. So it looks like a starfish. There's something here, I feel like, about this person um, who's, who's very romantic, okay? So they might be very creative. They might be decorating things. They might be arranging things. Um, you know, it's it's almost like somebody who surprises you by taking you to a place and then there's like uh, flowers or there's like um, writings, you know, like, will you be my girlfriend? Will you be my boyfriend? Like somebody who's like hopelessly romantic. They're arranging things possibly like almost um, as a proposal. So I feel like it's, it's a very, very... Um, deep message that they're conveying even though they show up as a page it's a very deep message okay and it's it's going to be something that will really uh hit you at the core level and when this happens my advice to you is um hey can we talk about this later i i have to take care of some things right now can we please talk about this later make sure you don't scare them off make sure that you they don't feel jilted or slighted or they don't feel passed over okay because i feel like it took a lot of courage for them to work up you know um the courage to to kind of approach you so this is not something that you can this is not somebody or this is not an invitation that you should just kind of brush off, okay? So just tell them, I'm really stressed out right now. Can we please talk about this later? Don't say that, oh, can can I, can I you come back later? Don't tell them that because they're going to run away. Um, just tell them, can we talk about this later? And then you go find them later. Um, so finances, let's talk about finances because um, there's a big message here. I see some of you looking at your bills, okay? This is like your bank statement, your credit card bills, your phone bills, your um, electricity bills. And there are, it's like the, the amount is something that you did not anticipate, okay? It's like there's something that you didn't anticipate. So you want to be a little bit careful overall when it comes to your spending. We are hitting the holiday season here in the um, Northern Hemisphere. And for those who are celebrating Christmas, you know, it's a big gift giving type of uh, time of the, the year. And so I feel like for some of you, you need to really curb your spending. Because I feel like you're looking at a bill and you're shocked. Okay, and I, I feel like it's finance related. I'm also seeing people having to shift money around, different checking account, uh, possibly having to open up a new um, place for you to store your earnings. So shifting money around. Um, so I, I see that, but I definitely feel you need to be careful about your spending. And then I'm also seeing as well, housing, um, if you are a property owner, there is something here about being very careful about especially lighting candles, especially lighting incense and triggering like fire alarms. And I'm also sensing as well um, filters, you know, clearing out the air, air filters in your house. Or if you have the washer and dryer and you know how the, the dryer area, it collects lint. And I feel like that area is not cleaned out and then it could catch on fire. 
if you are using like, you know, so, so just make sure you are diligent about cleaning out things that might be flammable around areas that uses, you know, a lot of electricity near electrical sockets and things like that. So make sure you declutter your environment. Okay. So I feel like there's some fire hazards and fire safety violations. Um, if you own a business, just be careful about that in particular, okay? Houses and businesses, okay? Um, we have some really good cards in the picture, but I almost feel like you're not really focusing on the good things that are going on in your life. I feel like you're very preoccupied about what's wrong rather than what's going right, okay? So this is what I'm feeling here. Your focus on this. This is your energy, Queen of Swords. And you're focusing on this. Five of Swords. This situation where there has been conflict, where there has been battle brewing, where there has been, you know, lack of satisfaction. And what you should really be focusing on is the love and the abundance that's around you. Okay, so I feel almost like you have here the Ten of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, the Judgment card, which indicates to me new beginnings, relocation, um, love coming through from family members, and just the abundance of all the, the, the universe has to offer you. But I feel like you're dwelling on things that didn't go the way that you want. You also have the Lovers which indicates to me um, major decisions, major crossroads and major decisions that you have to make moving forward, okay? And so I feel like you have a lot of good things coming into the picture. And once again, it's like you, you have to, you know, uh, focus, change your focus or shift your focus into the new rather than into the old. And I know that is, you know, so much easier said than done. Um, but I feel like with Aquarius people in general, you know, it, it's, it's almost like you can't appreciate the, the, the sunny days until you've experienced like three years of winter, right? And vice versa, you can appreciate um, somebody's um, faithfulness and honesty until you've experienced like three bad relationships with cheaters, right? And with Aquarius people in general, I feel like it's when you don't have the answer for something, that's when it pulls you back in. It's when you don't have the clarity. It's when you don't have the closure. It's when you don't have concrete answers for why things happened the way they did. That's when you, you can't get it out of your mind. So you're constantly, perpetually fixated on that one thing that you can't pin down that you can't get an answer to and you're not really able to focus on other things you're not able to let go you're not able to move on so if you can, can remind yourself of that okay I'm only stuck on this person because he left or she left without giving me an answer I never found closure so it's not the person that you love it's, it's more like wanting to know and so I feel like that's, that's what's happening for this week. I feel as if you are dealing with somebody who might already be in a relationship. And their relationship is definitely heading downhill, okay? What I see here is we have the Five of Swords and the house is already burnt down. Damage done. It's like no matter what they do, no matter how they fix it, the house unit is never the same. Hence the marriage, the relationship, or whatever it is that they have going in their lives is never the same. But they're looking at it as well. And this is somebody that wants to fix things. They see a problem and they want to come in and, and get their hands dirty and fix things. And I also feel like you're asking them why. You're asking them why. You're asking them, like, why do you put up with it? Are you masochistic? Why do you let the situation, why do you let the, the situation have such a great hold on you? Why don't you leave? Why don't you do something differently? So you're dealing with somebody that you love. You really love this person. 
but they they can't see the forest for the trees it's almost like they're so fixed in sunk cost in the the amount of time they've invested in something and they only see one way of doing things and they're not able to they're not able to see anything else they're not able to see outside of it and they're not able to you know uh, shift into something new and I feel because of that it's it's one of the things that you really admire about them but I also feel like it is their karmic destiny to fix things okay maybe in their past life they were very irresponsible they bounced around they created problems they never stayed around to fix it so maybe in this lifetime it is their karmic destiny to want to fix things and that is something that you kind of need to tell yourself as well you know I might not understand why they are the way they are and why they do these things that don't really make sense but I have to respect their free will and I have to accept the fact that they're not ready to approach me or they're not ready for me or they're not ready for that change in their lives and so doing so or telling yourself that is going to free you energetically from this situation um, I also see you, so there's some news information being revealed here about somebody's destructive behavior, okay? And um, I'm seeing somebody putting on a facade that everything is, you know, uh, great and happy. So somebody's putting on a facade, but behind that facade, they're really struggling, they're unhappy, they're fearful, and they're in a situation where they feel very much alone. And they might not feel like they have the financial resources to straighten out their lives or straighten out situations or to do the things that they want to do. So I feel like there's somebody putting on a facade that everything is all right, but inside, they're not okay. Um... I see you as well reaching out to family members, trying to make amends. Um, I'm also seeing, I'm also, so I have like very strong, so there's an angel here in the judgment card and an angel here in the lover's card. And what I feel is there is going to be a very big, strong love connection, something that is preordained and something that's written in the stars. And I feel like when I say that you guys appreciate, you know, the, the imagery, um, I'm just going to show you the cards because the way they fell out, two major arcana cards in a row, but the theme is very, very similar. So I have here the judgment card and the lover's card. What I feel is this is the gift of creation, the gift of creation, the gift of manifestation. And um, what I feel though is not only, you know, is this indicative of communication from a love relationship or communication and breakthroughs when it comes to love, this is also the card about just overall creation. Look at everything that you have created Look at all the good karma that is coming back home to roost. Look at you on top of your A game and looking at, you know, the way that your life has. Um, it's like the series of events that has led you to this specific place in time. And you should be really proud of your achievements. You should be really, really proud of everything that you have created. Okay. For some of you, this could be family like a family unit that you have created against all odds and you have overcome a lot of um, adversity you have overcome a lot of challenges with another person and you have made it and I also feel in this imagery with both of these cards this is sort of like you are on the right track okay it's like God made you you and you are unique and you are basically I see a lot of people here in this spread, or at least um, the Aquarius people that are watching this. You have gone through a period, a lot of um, you know ups and downs regarding your self worth, and there were points where you were kind of like in a low point regarding your self doubt, 
And this is a reminder that you are divinely guided and you are guarded and protected. And you are pretty much God's creation. I don't like using that term, God's creation. We all diff worship different gods. Some of us don't believe in God. But what I feel is this angelic presence is telling you that, you know, there is a land in abundance. So if you have been kind of adrift in the sea, not knowing what's next and feeling like your life has gotten out of control, there is a sense of control coming back into the picture because you are getting some help. OK, you're getting assistance. You're going to find that love, too. But it's going to require that you get to land safely first before you can find that community of people or the love relationship that you've been hoping for. So it's a very reassuring message, but it's also telling you to look in the right direction and listen and, and pay attention to the signs that are coming into the picture for you. So don't dwell on this broken home type of a situation. Um, focus your energy on the people that love you, that care about you. And, you know, I feel like I can say that until I'm blue in the face. But, you know, once again, you guys are not going to listen. So let me just pull out a card Two. what is this five of swords in relations to who is it in relations to? Okay, we have one card here. Okay, so we have here the Six of Wands and the Four of Cups in the reverse. You're taking a new situation, like you're embarking on a new situation. And I feel like it's career related. And some of you are just like, I'm really, really happy where I am currently. Uh, people look up to me, people respect me, and uh, you know, I'm making really good strides. Should I be leaving? Am I making the right choice? And then I feel like for some of you, there's this overall sense of dissatisfaction. It's almost like as a child, let's say, you know, you were 16, 17, um, probably in high school. And you're just like, when I finish high school, I'm going to go to college. And when I get uh, the degree from the university, I'm going to change the world. I'm going to be famous. I'm going to, you know, um, it's like the world needs to look out for me because I'm going to make it. And I almost feel like a big part of you, your vision of success or your vision of what you imagine yourself to be, it's very grand. And there's nothing wrong with dreaming big. But at some point in your life, maybe in your 20s, late 20s, and in your early 30s, things didn't go the way that you want. And you're just like, am I dreaming too big? Is it a pipe dream? Um, should I continue to pursue this dream? And I feel like you have, you know, encountered a lot of self-doubt, a lot of disappointments as well along the way. And it's kind of made you feel like maybe I should settle. Maybe I should settle for the mundane. Maybe, you know, unicorns don't exist. And there's that that dream that you have, you know, to kind of soar, to fly away and to believe in something that doesn't really exist out there just yet. But you're at a point where you are creating it. You're creating something magic out of the blue and you're going to achieve a lot of success. OK, so don't doubt the process and don't doubt the situation. OK, so Aquarius, that is all that I have for you. Um, I feel as if. I feel as if you you have already made a decision, but I feel like this week you're doubting that decision. You're doubting it so much and you're the, the reason that you're doubting it is because you have been through some some really dark things recently. You have been going through some really dark things. And I feel like all the good things that are coming in for this week, you don't believe it. Okay. You, you, you have trouble believing in it. Um, so shift your focus. Okay. Take things at face value. Okay. And don't torture yourself by, by trying to dig for answers. Okay. 
I hope the reading resonates and I wish you all the best.